DJ Pro has one of the best playlist features out of any DJ app, and in this video, I'm going to show you all about it. So to access your playlist, what we're going to do is we're going to press these music select buttons up here to the top right or top left. And then now we are in playlist, but you might be in one of these other sources, either one of the streaming services, your files, DJ music, and it might be confusing because they don't call it playlist, they call it my collection. But once, see we're in DJ music, once we go to my collection, then up here it says playlist. So this is where you are going to create your playlist. So to change your sources is right here. To make this bigger, you could press these expand or not expand buttons. And then we have a search bar. Now this search bar is only going to search songs in your playlist. So songs that you put into your playlist. Now this threw me off so much and I'm sure a lot of other people have this problem. If you get a request while you're DJing or you just wanna find a song, you're gonna search. So if I search the Beatles, I only get one song. So now if you're looking for like a request or something, this may be frustrating. It's because this search bar is only going to search songs in your playlist. If you go to your streaming service and do the same search, then you'll get every song uh, in the database of that streaming service. So if you're getting frustrated, that's why. So once you're in my collections, you can only search inside of your playlist. So keep that in mind. So here is going to be your list of playlists. I recommend making a specific playlist for every gig that you do, and then also making some uh, go-to playlist that you keep there. I'm gonna get to that at the end. I just wanna show you how everything works. And if you wanna find out my suggestions of what to do with it, you can watch till the end. This is where your list of playlists is gonna be. And something that is really helpful is if you hold down the playlist and then drag it to the top, you could drag this playlist to wherever you want. So let's just make that first. So if you make a specific playlist for the gig that you're doing, you don't have to search through your whole playlist. And then also it, with those go-to playlists, you can keep those at the top. So you just hold it in, hold it in, and then it'll let you put it wherever you want. Down here, we're in playlist. You can go to sessions. This is going to be whatever songs you played while your session with the app is. So let's say on Tuesday, you played a good set at the bar and you wanna get some of those songs. This is where you will find it. And then you could also name these too. So you can turn these into regular playlists. And then over here is our match feature. I made separate videos on this. What it does is it's going to match the song that you have loaded on the deck. It's gonna give you a list of matching songs that are similar by key, similar by uh, artist and similar by BPM and John. To create a playlist, we are gonna press the plus button. So now we press the plus button, so we have three options. We could create a playlist, we could create a smart playlist, or we could create a folder. So now what a folder is, is you could basically put playlist inside playlist. So to, to create a folder, we're gonna create a playlist folder, and then let's just make the this folder is going to be the decades. So there we go. And then now our decades playlist folder is down here. So we click the playlist folder, and then now we can add a new playlist and we get the same menu again. So we're gonna go to playlist, and now we're gonna name it. So I did the, did the decades, let's do 2000s. And then just for this example, we'll do playlist 1990s. So that's how you do the playlist folders. And I recommend doing it definitely for the, the decades. Have your top songs for the decades. It's always a good idea to play a song from when the person that you're playing it for was young and cool. And having the decades really is helpful. So let's go back to regular playlists. So playlist, we're going to name this example. Now that's there. So to add songs to your playlist, there's a couple of ways. One way is we could press the add songs from inside there, and then it's either add from library or add from files. I'm gonna add it from library. And then now I am in my streaming service. 
So if I wanted to add a song by 50 Cent into my playlist, I'm going to search. And now this is going to search the whole database of title. So we got in the club. So now there's these plus buttons. So we're going to add that, add that, add that, add that, add that, add that, add that. And then make sure you remember to press done. Now we're going to press done up here. And now our playlist, our songs are in the playlist. With the playlist, once we have some songs, that is it is this is very, very important. It calculates the amount of time in your playlist. A good rule of thumb is if you're playing a gig that's four hours, get at least eight hours of songs. And if you like to mix fast or do quick mixing, you might need even more, but have at least double. This way, if you play something that doesn't work, you have backups. And then also you don't want to have too much because then you suffer from analysis paralysis and there's too much to choose from. That's why you don't want to go through your whole library when you're doing a gig. You just want to go through your specific playlist. That's why playlists are so important. So that's where it's going to tell you. So instead of having to do the math like you used to have to do, it tells you how much time. Definitely keep an eye on that. And also if you're planning on doing an auto mix, it's a good idea to know how long this, how long the auto mix is going to go for. So we can organize our playlist a couple of ways. So right now it's going BPM. It's going from high BPM to low BPM. You could change it to key. If you want to do a lot of in key mixing, then it's going to separate it by key. You could separate it by artist, album, whatever's easier for you. I, I keep it on the BPM because it, it's makes sense to me and I like to mix and do beat matching. So knowing what the BPM is really helpful in that situation. All right, so now there's another way to add songs to your playlist. Um, let's So if I'm just in my regular streaming service, let's do the Beatles again. So now we're gonna find the song that we want, Now and Then by the Beatles. You can press these three dots over here and then right here, we can add it to playlist. So add the playlist and now we got to choose our playlist. Now we're going to put it in example. And another thing that you could do is you could, you could take a playlist you already made and then add it to a new playlist. So let's say that house party 2021, let's say that this party was awesome and I want to use all these songs and more in my new playlist. I'm going to go to this hidden drop down menu where it says songs and then we're going to go down to add all to playlist and now we could add this all to our playlist add so you could add a whole playlist to a playlist you could also do the do the same thing with your sessions you could add those to a playlist and then you could even go to your streaming service cuz the, these playlists that it shows here in title these are playlists that you made on your streaming service so you could go to your playlist from a streaming service do the same thing and then add it all to your DJ playlist. This is great if you want to use your playlist from Spotify. You could take your playlist from Spotify, transfer it into Tidal, and then log in the Tidal, get that playlist, and then add it to your DJ Pro playlist. And then now you got your Spotify playlist into DJ Pro. That's the only way to get Spotify playlist into DJ Pro at the moment. And then also over here, we have a pencil button and then we could select songs and then over here at the drop down menu, we can either delete them, add them to a playlist or we can deselect, select or delete them. So that's if you want to delete songs. Also, if you slide it to the left, you can delete it that way if you want. And then you could also export to a CSV file which is going to turn your playlist into paperwork. So if you're doing like a wedding or something or something where you want to show someone your playlist or if you just want to keep it on, on hand in case something happens to your iPad, that's how you do it. You could export it into a written playlist. Now, setting your playlist is super important to be organized, but every song that you put into these playlists should, should be organized with cue points. So as soon as you load up the playlist, and then you load up a song, you know exactly when you're going to start, when you're going to stop, where the drops are, and however you want to organize your songs. So check out this video over here where I show you how to set cue points for the songs in your playlist.